Alright guys, Papa Pepper here once again. I got my lab coat on today because I'm doing an experiment. I'm going to attempt to do a how-to video, but the how-to may have a question mark because I've never done this before, but I've always wanted to. So I'm going to see if I can't pull it off and show you guys how to do it in the process. First thing you're going to need is a glove. I've chosen to do a uh, vinyl one. May need latex, so we'll have to see. I've also got a jar. Um, you may want these things. I'll uh, link my post on how to use these things in case you're not sure how. And then of course uh, the glasses and lab coat help too because although I've never done that before he doesn't know that so if I wear this I look more professional like I know what I'm doing. So this happens to be water moccasin. It's a venomous snake and we're gonna try to see if we can milk it. So I've already prepared one ahead of time, like they do on the cooking shows. Stretch that over the top of there, and we're going to try to see if we can get it to bite. Oh. Oh. Hear that? Okay, we got three hits so far, guys. Don't know if it'll go again. Oop, went again. And inside that thing, down at the bottom now, is a drop of venom. A little bit on the top too. Let's try that one more time. Ooh, there it went. And one more time. Do you want one more? He might be about spent. So, actually it was just about that easy, huh? Vinyl glove, rubber band down the top of a jar, put it here. He helps. Ooh, that one's still on top. Nice little bead. And then down in the bottom of there, sure if you guys can see that. There's one, at least one little job of venom. So, how to milk a snake. Oop. There it went. Look at all that venom. Not sure if you guys can see that. So, I'll call that a success. And the important thing is, careful with these jars, people. You don't want to mess around with these jars. This one's not going to be for food use anymore. Venom. Pop out.